Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Mufida and I would like you to click down below to subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to look good without lashes. I'm going to show you guys how to get a full glam bold look but without eyelashes. Lash extensions, falsies, mascara. You are the type of girl that doesn't want to do any of these or you just want to rock your natural lashes but you don't have a lot of eyelashes. Yeah, if you want to see how this video goes down, carry on watching and let's get right into it. If you decided not to use false eyelashes or you don't know how to do your eyelashes, you want to focus on everything else. You want to make sure that you are doing everything else to look snatched so that when the other girlies show up with false eyelashes or lash extensions, you still stand out. I'm not saying either of those are bad, but sometimes you just want to go bare, like no falsies, no eyelashes. So you want to focus on everything else. So we're going to start off with eyebrows. I always do my eyebrows the same way just cause they suit my face shape and I have micro blading I like both eyebrows I'm going to start off with my base. Of course, start off with moisturizing your skin and then you wanna go in with a primer that works with your skin type. I'm going in with the Milk Pore Eclipse Primer. I'm going to blend that into my skin. I'm going in with a full coverage foundation. I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'm in the shade Amber Honey. Blend that into your skin. Obviously, make sure that like, your makeup is really blended in because, again, every focus is going to be on your face. So you want to look as flawless as possible. I'm going to start off with my cream contour. I'm using the NAS Laguna Bronzing Cream in the shade 04. And I'm going to apply that where I would usually apply my cream contour product. Make sure you're blending the product on your cheekbones upwards so you're not dragging your face down. I'm going to use the same bronzer for my nose. I'm just gonna leave that to sit. I go ahead and apply my highlighting concealer. I'm using two concealers from Too Faced. I'm using the shade Latte and the shade Butterscotch. I'm 
going to start off with blending out what's on my chin. I'm gonna make sure you're blending out any harsh lines. I'm going back in with my foundation brush and I'm going to use that to blend out the harsh lines in between the contour and the highlight. Then going into the cream contour bit and just blending out any harsh lines as well. Now I'm gonna go in with my sponge and I'm going under my eyes with it but I'm gonna do my nose first just to pick up any excess product. I'm gonna go under my eyes. It becomes way softer than this side, so I'm gonna do the same here. Just going in to smoothen out the nose contour. Bring that into the eyebrows and just blend this out. Now with a sponge, soften it up. Now back in with the foundation brush just to blend out the edges. One more time before we go ahead and set the face. I'm gonna go in with my loose powder. I'm using my one size loose powder in the shade translucent. Tap off any excesses before I go ahead and push that under my eyes. Now to set my bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade Tan 3. Just applying that where I applied my cream bronzer earlier. I'm going to go ahead and set what's on my nose. For the rest of my face, I'm going in with a Maybelline Fit Me pressed powder in the shade 360 Mocha. And I'm going to push that all over my face.
eye makeup you want to do the typical thing that you do you want to prime your eyelids with some concealer then you want to go in with a sponge to blend it out so you can start off with a fresh canvas and then set that down with some powder so i'm going to start off with a light brown in my crease going into this brown We're going to kind of wing it out. Next step, I'm going into a darker brown right here and I'm going to put that on my outer V. Okay, I'm going into my Juvia's Place Culture 2 eyeshadow palette and I'm using the shade Chiwa. I'm literally just going to put that all over my eyelid. I'm just going for the typical full glam look. So you guys would get a gist of what I'm going to be doing. Since this is a full glam look, the next thing you want to do is to use liquid eyeliner or a matte black eyeliner. This is going to give your eye some definition and this is going to create a fuller lash effect. You'd go in with a matte black just like this one or any matte black that you own. You want to go in with a small brush this small and you're going to use that to roughly line as close to your lash line as possible. You can also use a liquid eyeliner. This is from e.l.f. I generally prefer to use matte eye shadow to do this step. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. I'm going to pat into this black. I'm going to roughly draw a wing as close to my lash line as possible. You want to make sure it's as, as similar to this eye because you're not going to be putting eyelashes on it to cover up the mess. So you want to make sure that it's as similar to your other eye as possible. So it should look something like this. You already have the definition going now i'm going to try to create equal wings so i'm going to start off here and then here just making sure that they are going in the same direction and then i'm going to connect that here I like matte eyeshadow to create wings just because it's easier to control. So if you're a beginner, you're not good with doing wings, you definitely need to try out using a black eyeshadow. It's also easier to clean up. That's it for the top part of the eye makeup. Next thing, you want to go in with a black eyeliner. This is my coal eyeliner from Wet n Wild. It just looks like this. I'm going to use that to tightline my eyes. This is how I like to tightline my eyes. I know a lot of people like to do this and then go back and forth like so my mom i used to see my mom do this all the time and it worked for her she likes using the kajal eyeliner i think she would typically just put it in between her eyelids do not push too hard into your eyes please just in between your eyelids and then you just go back and forth just like so and you fly both your top and your bottom so this is typically how it's going to look and it just automatically like connects to the wing if you want to do same so back and forth so you can go back in with eyeshadow just to smoke out the bottom lash line i'm gonna do that with my dark brown eyeshadow this is just going to tie the entire look together now i'm going to finish up with the base i'm going to dust off any any fall out I'm gonna go in with my pressed powder from Maybelline and just push that here. I'm 
Next step, I'm going to be applying my blush. This is from Patrick Ta. Going in with the powder first and then cream. If you have this blush, you know how it works. So I'm applying that, you know, where the highlighting powder meets the contour. So in between that, just so it blends everything in. I'm going to blend it upwards. Then I'm going in with the cream makes this look so much better so if you look here it just looks seamless as compared to this one so the next step is to set the face i'm going in with my urban decay the slick setting spray i'm going to put that all over my face So the next step you want to take is to curl your eyelashes. If you don't own any eyelash curlers, that's fine. This is my Shiseido eyelash curler. I like to do a cocktail of mascaras. I really like my Huda Beauty Legit eyelashes. Mascara, this is one of the best mascaras. However, it clumps way too much. So I like to mix it up with my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I like to just use the length and curl bit of the Huda Mascara and I'm going to apply that here. And I'm going to blink into the mascara. Then I'm going to do the same here. Then I'm going to use my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This has like a really interesting one. So it just separates my eyelashes. If your eyelashes are like so bald, please try this technique. And if you feel like it's way too clumpy, you can just go in with just a spoolie and you're going to run through your eyelashes with that. Just like this. It just takes off any clumps and the eyelashes look so much better. So I'm going to do highlighter. I'm going to do the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose. This is full glam, so I'm going all out. And I'm going to apply that onto the high points of my cheekbones. For my lips, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Lip Liner in the shade Simmer Down Brown. I'm going into my ABH lipstick in the shade Hush Pink. I'm going to put that at the center. I'm going to go on top of that with my Juvia's Place, the Coffee Shop lip gloss in the shade Dolce Latte. So this is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed filming it. This is the look. Let me bring you guys up close. No false eyelashes. And we still look put together. So I would definitely film a more natural, everyday, looking good without false eyelashes video for you guys. So look out for it. Like I said, I definitely enjoyed filming this video. Let me know what you think down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. If you did enjoy watching it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye. I know if you die for you, ladies, but I live my life for you. I got my eyes on you.